What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. In the SEC, you got $778 million. I'm looking at a skunk right here, y'all. $777 million that has to be distributed to all the schools in the SEC. Most of that money comes from football revenue. Each school will get about $55 million. $55 million for each school. The SEC is flush with cash. All right, so, so, yeah, $55 million for each school. And we get on the NFL about having black head coaches. SEC doesn't have no black head football coaches. None. How many blacks? How many blacks are president presidents of the school in the SEC conference? Maybe one, two. But you know what? The networks, the sponsors, they don't care about all that. It's business to them. It's business. When they invest, they look to make a profit. They don't care if the coach is black. They don't care if the president of the school is black. They don't care if there's any black professors. It's business. If we can ever figure this thing out, really figure this thing out, we could pretty much run college sports. We can run it from a business aspect, an ownership aspect, but we just can't figure it out. You got over, what, 80% of football players in the SEC that's black? We drive the whole industry. We just can't figure it out. We can't work together. The SEC is sitting back laughing. All this confusion, NFL, this happened with black coaches and black ownership. They're sitting back laughing. And they're no better. Also, any football player that's, that plays football in the SEC, do not listen. If you can make a whole lot of money, make as much money as possible. Of course, these football coaches is getting paid. Athletic directors is getting bonuses. These presidents of schools is getting paid. So you go ahead and get your money. I'm just saying, this SEC is so flush with cash, is ridiculous. And their hiring, their hiring practices are no better than the NFL. Look, I'm going to talk to these guys later. Let's go on Sportsnet. Also, Cam Newton's brother, Kalen Newton, started his career off in 2017 as a quarterback at Howard. Stayed there about three years. Then he transferred to Auburn. Played wide receiver at Auburn for two years. Now he got one more year due to the pandemic rules. He's going to finish up at William & Mary. Now, as far as position, I don't know what position he's going to play. Might be quarterback, might be might be wide receiver.